Okay, hello to everyone. This is part two. Since my um, phone, <laughs> it stopped recording right when I was about to start right here. So as you can see, since I had a little extra time, I um, went ahead and did this hand in all the blue. And this again is the dark side of the blues. I'll be doing the remainder of the stamping in white. These two were the two I had not done, and I incorporated red here to stamp in white, and this is Any Mini Mighty Bow. I had this on with one of my Valentine Day looks, and this um, phone camera doesn't really do this polish any justice. It has a very pretty shimmer to it. It's not as frosty as my um, I'm Not Really a Waitress or my um, other red one. A fair and red square but it is very very pretty so we're gonna get started I have picked out seven additional plates in addition to these two that I did not stamp I have picked out um, these seven plates here right here and I'll tell you these numbers as I start stamping what I'm going to do right now is I am going to go over there and I'm going to mute my television and then I'm going to come back and we are going to conclude this stamping part two okay I also wanted to add that I like this blue so much if it looks okay with this white because I haven't stamped over it yet I'm going to redo this manicure and use the white over it or I think I tried my frosty white but that kind of looks silver but we're going to continue now where I left off at is I was going to stamp some flowers from this plate over this nail and this is till the tide turns after I did that video where I said till the toad turns I just keep wanting to say that I didn't catch that until like somewhere in the middle so we're going to scrape this and again this was the Queen Buffet 59. Going to get that stamp there. Yeah, so I really like that. I don't know about it over that bumpy surface, but I think this plate and the flowers and maybe some cute rhinestones in there would be very nice. One or two, depending on the flower placement, because these flowers are pretty nice to put a rhinestone in there. So the next one we're going to try, I'm thinking, this one right here. This is Queen 62, and I'm just going to try to go in the middle of this one and see how much I can pick up from each little part there. Right in the center. We'll put this over here. I mainly just got the lines. I don't know where I put my camera at there. There we go. Mainly just got the lines. And I'm going to switch out stampers. Now, let's see, this one right here. I like these patterns right here with the gate and the circles. So I'm going to try to get a piece of each of that. put that on my thumb. I really do like the red and the white over this. And I did, um, usually I don't, but this time I did put a layer of Sechevite over every nail. Now I don't do it for the purpose of taking anything off. In my case I just did it to help this polish dry faster. I'm going to try this little grid right down here because I like these kind of things right here to put over top of other patterns or to use as a background and to put something else over top of it but I only got a piece of that there so let's see I guess I could. I see why people do that now. So I'm going to try to re stamp over that and see what happens. 
I haven't got very adept yet at trying to re-stamp things, but I do have my heat on, and that could be part of the problem here because it blows right over my table. And that took better, but if that continues, I will get up and turn it off because it's blowing right over me. Usually it's cold in here. Now I really like this pattern right here. So I'm going to try to go for like these wavy parts and I'm going to stamp that over this blue since I'm curious as to how the white will look over the blue. Not too bad. But I ain't sure. So we're going to see. Okay, now that heat just cut off, so we're going to see how that goes. I want to try this flower here. Sorry about that over my thumb. A portion of this. Especially now with that heat. I tell you, this apartment, it's never a happy medium. It's either freezing or it's smoking hot and I have told them for a couple of years about that and they keep telling me that that is normal and it's not and I got pieces of that flower there hopefully you can see that so these plates are good for me to practice stamping these bigger designs with and see I've got a small area Two small areas. I want to try this one right here with the hearts and the O's. Okay. Uh, I only got part of that. So I'm going to try that again. Let's see what happens. For the most part, I haven't had like super bad stamping with these plates or anything. It's just for most of these big images, I know that I need to learn how to scrape at a different angle in my case because I've gotten so used to scraping a certain way. And I hear a lot of people on here say that certain images have to be lightly scraped or scraped in a certain way. Now I'm going to get a new pad here and hopefully this doesn't take too long but I am still looking at videos of these plates and those CC and Sissy plates because I will do um, probably try to do a stamping demo with those tomorrow. I'm going to try to go again for these thicker areas that I have the trouble with. I don't know where I'm going to put that. Okay, now that's right there. I did place an order today. Um, I don't know how to say it. El Mundo de Unas plates and some stamping polish. I only ordered two plates. Um, I think they were like holiday series. Maybe. I was looking at the other ones, but I was on Instagram. And Instagram is as bad for me as YouTube is. <laughs> because things come across there that I see that I think that I just can't live without. But I will say I do get a ton of helpful information. I mean, not just like the makeup stuff, you know, but not to get too super personal. But I learned that if I took my Dawn and put, um, like if your toilet is clogged up and you tried the bleach and that doesn't work, you can pour half a bottle of Dawn. Now, mind you, I wasn't too keen on that because at the time I had the one bottle of Dawn and had not made it out to the store. But I mean, I have learned other things. I learned how to put my Helmer together 
I'm going to be watching videos on how to put together my um, Alex chest. So there are so many other things that I have learned on YouTube. I didn't get that face all the way on there. Um, but YouTube and Instagram, you know, they can teach us a lot of stuff. It helps us when we're stymied or stuck on something to try to figure out now. I've got this, and I just want to show you really quickly, because that was the other reason I wanted to work with these plates, is I'm going to put these in the front. I have my second set right here, and then I have my first set last. So I really like this. Now, I didn't utilize the back and the front pockets, because each one of these have pockets on the back and on the front. Right now, I'm only utilizing the front. But I really like this little case. But that was it. Um, this is the end of me trying to do a stamping demo, so I hope it was helpful. And this one wouldn't be so bad if it didn't have a lot of texture in it, but I will come back tomorrow and I guess do a demo of the CC and Sissy one, and then whenever I get my other one, I'll do that. But see, this polish is messy. My hands are super duper dry because I've been working with Ace Tone, so right now I'm going to give them a break. So I might just wait on the CC and Sissy until the other set comes next week. I think I'll do that. So until the next time, everyone have a great day and I will be checking out your videos.